today yeah. I would like to talk about uh, about ubeka. Ubeka in English you would translate as equanimity. There's one uh, one pikuni in our in our residence. She told me that when she listened to my Dharma talk, she understands very well. But then she meditated. She meditated on ubeka, which she understands as a let go of everything. So as a result, right after Dharma talk, if you ask her what, what did Venerable Mother talk about, she will not be able to answer. And this has been repeatedly many times. So as a result, she confessed that this is what she actually did. Uh, always practice Ubeka with the understanding that she let go of everything. So I think it's important that we understand the word Ubeka. Ubeka could be in the four Brahma Vihara. That is, you have Metta, Metta, loving kindness, Karuna, compassion, Mutita, Mutita is uh, you have, uh, how to say, you have joy, you have joy for other success. And the last one is equanimity, Ubeka, equanimity. Now, in order for you to practice Ubeka, this has been misunderstood by many people in my country, at least. They jump into practicing equanimity, let go of everything. In fact, before you can come to Ubeka, have you already expressed your loving kindness? Have you expressed your compassion? If you have not done number one, number two, number three, then you practice the, the fourth one, that is Ubeka. Actually, it is not equanimity. But you simply do not care, do not care. So come back again to understand, first of all, you have to express loving kindness. You have to express compassion for others. You, have, you love others and you want to see them happy. And if someone may not be happy, someone may be in pain, someone in sickness, you express your care by taking care of them. Unless you have done this to the point that you cannot do anything more, then Ubeka, then you have to settle. You have to keep your mind in equanimity stage. That is, let karma, let karma take its own toll. This is how we explain, we understand Ubeka. Now, Ubeka is also in, in um, Chanik practice, you know, Chanik practice with form, Rupachana. Rupachana started with Vitok, Vijan, Piti, Suk, Eka, Kata, and Ubeka. The trouble is that you have not experienced the first one, second one, third one yet, but you jump again, you jump to Ubeka. Equanimity. Equanimity does not mean that you just simply let go of everything. Equanimity means that when something that you like comes in, something that you don't like comes in to your present stage of mind, you are able to handle it equally. Someone speaks very harshly about you. Someone praise you. You can keep your mental uh, equilibrium so to say. Someone may say a very nasty thing about you, you are not angry, and you actually have compassion for that person. Or someone praised you, you don't float like a, you don't float like a balloon. You, know? you understand that after all it's only the sound, the sound that hits your ears. And that's it, you can let go. The same way as other people may speak harshly about you. If you can both ways, if you can keep your mind in equanimity, that is Ubeka. More than just believe that you just put down everything. You cannot put down everything. Because in that Chanic stage, there is one thing that you always have to constantly be knowing. That knowing mind must be there. It's not putting down everything and you don't know anything. That is not Ubeka. So this is one point that I would like to share with you today.